Psalm 95 is well known as the Venite, the opening canticle at Matins. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Its words are therefore familiar to many, proclaiming as they do the kingship of God over creation and the fact that we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. These are reassuring words, well suited to the moment when people gather together for worship and take comfort again in God's presence. However, the end of the psalm includes a warning about days gone by, when the people hardened their hearts in the wilderness. The wrath of God is kindled whenever this happens, because he knows that whenever someone turns away from him, they fall into evil's trap. This power of evil is the target of God's anger, a righteous anger that seeks always to rescue us from the grip of sin. O oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me and saw my works, forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said, it is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways. Unto whom I swear in my wrath, that they should not enter into my rest. 